Mr. Chang, thoughts on Jing and um, Putin got together on Friday. Uh, yeah, huge, huge. Uh, thoughts on it. Um, the nightmare of Brzezinski, uh, Kissinger, of the neocons, of the Western world has occurred, right? That's what we are living through right now. And that's your Asia getting together as one economic block, right? That means from Russia all the way to Turkey, Iran, Pakistan, India, kick it up, kick it up, kick it up. You go to, you know, the smaller Asian nations, Thailand, Bangladesh, um, like Cambodia, uh, the, all these nations getting together. South Korea, not included yet, right? Because they're under the umbrella of the United States. Japan, not included yet, but slowly, mm, right? Philippines, to a certain degree, you know, sable rattling, but their biggest partner is China. So basically that, and then uh, Afghanistan, uh, all the uh, Turkish uh, Ottoman Empire countries, Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan, all those getting together, that Mongolia, that whole block is an economic powerhouse right now. And they're introducing their own uh, equivalent of the SWIFT system, currency, the, you don't want to call it central currency, central, like, uh, uh, what do you call it? reserve currency but it's a currency they can trade in outside of the u.s dollar that whole block which includes india and china 1.5 billion each 3 billion at the rest you got more than half the world's population deciding to trade and conduct business and not wage war against each other as much as possible that whole block getting together and that was Putin and Jing embracing. That that embrace will live in infamy forever because that is the final nail in the coffin of Western hegemony. That's that's what just took place <laughs> in the last few days. We're living through it. We're living through it. Will the Western world let their empire collapse quietly into the night? and become part of the global multipolar world where they agree not to be the dominant force right the police of the world and agree to behave nicely with everyone else and just conduct business trade according to their abilities or where they create chaos as much as they can right now their decision has been that they will create chaos as much as they can but that's not stopping the Eurasian block from continuing with their agenda and it's actually making them implement things more rapidly and uh, they they have a lineup lineup of countries from across the globe that want to join their union huge brilliant amazing times to be alive amazing times to be alive the crow agrees <laughs> <laughs>